Hi there, I am Tim Akimbo, and in this video I will be showing you how to create pre-signed Bitcoin transactions that can then be broadcast at a much later date and time. Uh, yesterday I had a friend who wanted to buy some Bitcoins from me and we had already made arrangements to meet uh, at a place and at a time and we were going to do the transaction right there. Um, I had basically two options. Uh, one is, was that I was going to have to do the transaction before or after the meeting, or I would first of all transfer the coins that I had on my hardware wallet to my phone, and then do the transaction when we've concluded the cash deal. Um, so since I was going to have to, you know, do two transactions in the second option, I, I, I thought about the possibility of creating the transaction beforehand um, since we had already concluded on what the price was going to be and the amount of Bitcoins I was going to sell for that amount of cash. Um, I would create the transaction and then after we've concluded the cash deal, I would then broadcast the transaction to the Bitcoin network and then you know he would have it on his uh, own wallet. So I pretty much you know went ahead to create this pre-signed transaction. I met with him you know after we exchanged pleasantries and you know exchanged the cash, counted it was correct, it was complete. I then broadcast the transaction on the network, and he immediately received the coins in his wallet. So I'm going to show you how I did it, and hopefully. It might be something that you learn and might also use in some other instances. I'll be using the Electrum desktop wallet since uh, this is one of the more flexible wallets out there that gives you the ability to create this kind of pre-signed transactions without broadcasting them immediately, which is basically the default behavior of most Bitcoin wallets. So here I have Electrum version 2.7.18 and in order to create a pre-signed transaction you would go ahead to create the transaction as though you were going to send the coins right away but rather than hitting the send button you would create you click the preview button all right so in this instance I want to send Let's say I want to send 0 0.025 bitcoins. Um, I have already specified the address I want to send the coins to. Um, then I click on the preview button. Under the preview button, I get to see what the transaction is going to look like. Um, you know, for other people who are more interested in you know very detailed information, things like the size of the transaction, the fees that are going to be paid, and what have you. Now notice here on that transaction ID that is actually displayed as unknown. And the reason why this is, is because this transaction hasn't been signed yet. And until it is signed and complete, um, there'll be no transaction ID. So I'll just go ahead and sign this transaction by clicking the sign button. And once the transaction has been signed by my computer, I would then have a transaction ID, as you've seen here. Now naturally, I would click broadcast and have this uh, transaction submitted to the Bitcoin network and then the coins are transferred from my wallet to the destination address. But rather than do that, I would save this transaction. Now in saving the transaction, um, the coins have not left your wallet yet. Uh, you've just created a transaction and you've signed it, but you've not broadcast it. So the coins are still in your wallet. If for some other reason, um, you don't intend to send these coins anymore by just deleting this transaction or deleting this file that I'm going to save you would basically have cancelled that action so I save this transaction and it has been saved now the next thing I will do is just close this tab
And then I'm going to show you in the next screen what the contents of that file will look like. So here we go. I am here at my shell and here I have the transaction that I just signed. We can take a look at the contents here. And here we see um, in that file, um, you have actually three parameters. We have a hex, complete, and final. Um, under the hex, um, this is actually the hexadecimal representation of the transaction, the signed transaction itself. And that is what we need uh, in order for us to um, have this transaction completed. So all you have to do um, is copy the value of this uh, uh, the hexadecimal value of the transaction and store it, you know, somewhere safe, maybe on your phone, since that's what you're going to be carrying with you, or, you know, you could write it down on paper, whatever medium, um, just save it the way it is. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to actually have that copy to my clipboard. Okay, so I have the transaction in the hexadecimal representation copied to my clipboard. Now, I can save that, you know, on my phone, wherever it is. Now, let's say we've done the transaction, everything is okay, we're ready to broadcast the transaction. Uh, what we need to do next is then use one of the public or popular uh, available um, push transaction uh, services out there. Um, Blockchain.info has one. Um, but the one I'm going to be using is um, the one by Block Cipher. Um, the reason why I'll be using this is because um, I am not actually sending real bitcoins. I'm using uh, Bitcoin test net coins, and so I need a push transaction API that supports Bitcoin test net. All right. So here, um, which would also be like a typical Bitcoin transaction. I paste the transaction hex and then I would just click the broadcast transaction. That's because the default network is Bitcoin. Um, but because this is a testnet transaction, I would have to change this option to Bitcoin testnet. Um, so once I've selected that option, um, what I just then need to do is just click on broadcast transaction. And there you go. The transaction has been broadcast and it has been transferred from my wallet to the destination address. So let's go back to our wallet and let us see. There we go. So we have the transaction broadcast on the network and is currently unconfirmed. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up button of the like button and you can also subscribe to this channel as I'll be bringing out and releasing more tutorial videos on how to use different and various Bitcoin tools. Thanks for watching.